Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jay. So in this video, I'm going to solve another problem from Leetcode at 1753. Maximum score from removing stones. You're playing a solitaire, solitaire uh, game with three piles of stones, size A, B, C. Each turn, you choose two different non-empty piles. Take one stone from each and add one point to your score. The game stops when there are fewer than two non-empty piles. Mm -hmm. Given three integers A, B, and C, return the maximum score you can get. Let's take a look at an example uh, here. A2, B4, C6. So we could uh, remove uh, 2 from A and then 2 from C. Then we get 4-4 four, four here. So it's just uh, two piles with the same amount of stones. We could just use four steps to take them all of them out. So it should be 2 plus 4, 6. And also we actually could draw a conclusion here that uh, I think if A, B plus the sum of the smaller one is smaller than the next one, then we could always f uh, empty the, the, the first small piles, right? We could just uh, take two from here and uh, from with C and take four from here with C because A plus B is smaller or equal to C. And this is obvious. And then this is another case is if A plus B is bigger than six, the starting point is four, four, six. Uh, we could take the first one and third one. It should be uh, second one, three, three, six. And then we got two, three, five, and one, three, four. And then we got three, three. So the example shows that we'd better uh, first empty a pile. And then uh, if we if we ideally could get a pair of the uh, piles with the same amount, we could just uh, instantly result, return the result, right? Anyway, so the first solution that comes to my mind directly would be uh, instantly would be the recursion solution. We don't. This is kind of looks similar to the Hanoi uh, problem. Uh, anyway, let's do it. So I first created a recursion function called maximum. So now. If one of them is empty already, we, we cannot choose from the third piles. We could only choose from the uh, rest two piles. We, we don't have any much option. So uh, first we need to find the smallest pile, right? And determine if it is empty or not. And then we could start our uh, recursion. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is sort uh, arcs. So A and B and C would be arg sort x, y, uh, which is the ascending order. Descending order is OK. It doesn't matter. OK, so if c is empty, we don't have any options. So we return math and minimum and b. If c is not empty, then all of the three numbers that are not empty. We could just start recursion. Powerful, powerful recursion with minimum uh, first, we uh, pick from the first piles, so a negative 1, b minus 1, c, plus 1 point, right? And maximum a minus 1, b, and c minus 1, plus 1. Okay, maximum a, b, c, negative 1, plus 1. So, this is it. Obviously, it will be timeout, I, I, I believe, maximum A, because I've already tried it. <laughs> anyway, let's run the code. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Maximum call stack size exceeded. Uh, what? Maximum call stack. If C is zero, mm? we sort and we got a new one. So the first, mm? what's the problem? So log A, B, and C. P 
the recursion here. There's some problem. Oh. Negative. Why we get negative? A, B, and C. Oh, I said descending, not ascending. I'm sorry here. Um, define. Ah, uh, yeah. I forgot to return. Wrong answer? Uh -huh. Okay, we uh, with the descending order. Oh, oh yeah, this is right. Maximum, man. Why minimum? Hmm. Great. Now let's submit. I would say it uh, surely it's time limit because uh, we have done a lot of calculations. I've mentioned that the order of these three piles are not uh, not relevant, right? It doesn't matter. So actually. Uh, this is the usual approach I would do to solve the algorithm problem. First, we recursion, and then we uh, we uh, use memorization to avoid uh, extra unnecessary calculation. Let's create a map to hold the result. After we sort it, the key we could get the key. Uh, key would be you just use a, a string here. And then, if map has this key, we return map get key. If not, we uh, use this recursion to get the result, and then map set the key with result, and then return the result. We also could create a, a memorization, a general memorization function, and apply it to maximum max function here. Anyway, it doesn't matter that much here. So we submit. But still, it's a TLE. Um, this is where we have to cut, cut uh, to, to dr dr drastically remove unnecessary uh, the tree branches, right? In the real uh, the calculation tree. Uh, as we as we have observed that if the smaller one is sum of the smaller numbers is smaller than the big one, then we could just return the sum, right? So this is the first observation. Let's do it. So if b plus c is smaller than a, then we just return b and c. Submit. Oh, it's still TLE. This is not quite enough. And then uh, let's take a look at the case like this. If it's uh, uh, 6, 4, 4, what we could do? Well, because 4 plus 4 is bigger than 6, right? And uh, we first we could, surely we could empty uh, 6, right? Because 4, because 4 plus 4 is bigger than 6. And then we could took uh, the number I take a stone from six every time, so it won't. It, we could empty six, right? And then also, uh, we could while empty six, we could empty four or the other four because. Um, because six is the biggest, which means that uh, six is definitely gonna be emptied, and then while when it is emptied, uh, before it is emptied, we can assure that some of the the uh, powers could be emptied, right? So that gives us the uh, observation. I would say this is not from myself, but. Uh, I tried did something similar, but I, I kind of couldn't find the proof. So this is the proof I found. Okay, so this means that when we this is the uh, descending order, while we are emptying the first pile, we could we could balance the rest two piles while empty the largest pile. Suppose a 
A and B and C, right? If this conclusion is not true, uh, suppose it's not true, it means that uh, uh, we cannot, uh, when balancing, it means the difference is within one, okay? So it means that when A is emptied, the difference is B and C is bigger than one. This is not true, right? Because A is bigger than B, A is bigger than or equal to C, bigger equal than B, then A must be bigger than the difference with B. So it should be the absolute difference, absolute value of the difference. This is true, right? Is this uh, true? Yeah, because because a because all of them are uh, positive na positive number now. Uh, zero is uh, being removed here. So a uh, b is bigger than okay b is bigger than c. So it's like this. B a is bigger than b and bigger than b negative c. Right. So while empty A, we could always choose the bigger one, like from B and C, and empty that first. Right? Yeah. And then we could just start. Uh, we could just start to empty this, these two piles here. Right? Yeah. And then it could be emptied until the sum of them is smaller than A, and then we could just. Uh, uh, we could just, uh, uh, yeah, it would return the result right away, right? So the problem becomes this. Uh, we would go to this condition. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. No. 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 Oh yeah. I mean, we while we are so we just empty. Empty A first, so empty A first, and then uh, it means when A is become zero, what if it's smaller? Smaller if we come to this case because this is bigger. So when A empty, when A is emptied, uh, then B and C must have some stones left. We could balance the uh, s the, the difference with. Uh, between the la uh, rest two piles to to one, okay. So that reminds us that uh, the the uh, uh, around rounds would be a plus uh, b plus c negative a right the rest, and uh, divided by two the average because we have already uh, balanced it and then we take the floor maybe there's one left right the one difference. For example, at like like odd number, okay. So this is it. So if this is the case, we actually have the two formula to handle the each case. We don't need the uh, uh, recursion anymore. So this is the ultimate uh, solution, I would say. Um, so we just first we sort. And then if this is smaller than it, then we return B and C. And then if not. We would just return a plus this. Right? Let's run a code. Cool. So this is it. Let's submit to see the result. Great. Now we have much faster solution. Yeah. And this is pure calculation with just a sword on three items. So this is constant time, this is constant time, this is constant time. Perfect. So this is it. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.